this setup is how I'm cutting the grooves in the sides of the cabinet for the drawers. And what I found, quite by happenstance, was on my DeWalt table, the rip fence, take it off here, normally mounts like this so that you can use it on this side of the table for the blade. But it just so happens if you go to the outside, uh, there's the last hooks here, you can lock it and have your rip fence on this side and that allows me to use this table and rip along here. So what I've been doing is I turn my bit that I want like that and then I take uh, let's say I'm going to do a four and a quarter um, four and a quarter is where I need a, a slot or five and a quarter so I just adjust my table until the top of a slot is five and a quarter, lock my table, and then now I take my wood along here. Other things I've done, these slots are eight inches, so I've got a little tiny mark here on my table where eight inches is, a little pencil mark, and I just put my clamp there. So now when I run my wood across, I get over here to 8 inches and that's the, the length of the, the slot. So it's working out really well. Uh, you don't have to have a digital caliper like this. Um, a project like this is just as, you know, just as fine with a regular tape. The main thing is that once you set this distance up, up and you run a slot this way, you make sure that you take the other half and you run it back this way so that both slots are the same height. It doesn't matter if they're off a little bit, eighth of an inch or something, won't matter as long as they're both the same. Okay, here's a trick I'm doing. I've got to cut these. This is the center divider of the toolbox or the tool chest. It goes in here and then you'll have drawer slides in either side. But they're, re they're mirror images of each other. So I can't cut them both um, at the same time because it doesn't go all the way through. It stops. So I cut the first set this way. I have to cut the other set this way so that the, the bottom's always on the same side. So to make sure that I always get the slots in the right place, what I do, what I can do, is, um, let me make sure I get the bottom, is set the, the uh, there we go, the router bit into the groove, move my fence up against the wood, and then lock the fence, and then when I cut this one, I'll be in the exact same spot as I was when I cut that one. And then I have a stop here so that I end up coming up short here. Just a little trick. It's looking a little like a dollhouse more than a tool chest. Anyway, I'm going to show a couple mistakes I've made that I've got to correct here. Luckily, I haven't glued or nailed anything together. It's all just held together with clamps right now. One of the mistakes was these center dividers um, they're not tall enough and what I should have done is assembled it like this and then measured this actual distance and then cut the center divider to match rather than cutting the dimension on the drawing. So I've got a little gap here. Um, the other thing is they, they could be longer as well. So you can see there's about, I'm about quarter inch short here. That, that won't show, that'll be in the back, but um, it's still not right. The big mistake I've made is this piece up here. 
Um, this shelf goes forward more by, you know, three-eighths of an inch or more. And what that does then is this board comes down below this, uh, the edge of this. So this is where the back goes in. That goes actually down below this in front of this board. And I kind of put it together and thought, oh, it goes on top of this. And this board is on the back. But no, that's not correct. So um, I realized once I got it all together that I made this piece too short because the this top piece, which is the bottom of the, the top box, needs to go forward a bunch more in order for the front piece to work. So I'll just... Uh, Cut a new one of these a little wider, but uh, you know I've got to make these uh, dados again, rabbit joints. The drawings just have you do just a butt joint and put some brads in. The brads are hidden by the corner hardware. Um, I kind of like rather doing you know a rabbit joint um, so that it, it's a little more solid, a little more work, but uh, I think in the end it'll make a, a nicer project. I had to cut some very narrow slots in a board, uh, eighth inch slots, and my insert in the table was wider than three eighths of an inch so the board would fall into it. So what I did is I put a piece of plywood down and then brought my fence over to it and then this uh, extra wooden part of the fence I can push down so that it takes any bow out of this and then I turn the saw on and brought the blade up through the bottom so now I have a, a nice uh, flat spot I can run this through so I've cut these let me show you what it looks like underneath here So this wood, you can see, can fall down. If I was going to try and cut it, it would fall down inside there. There's no way to hold the to hold it level. So that was the easiest way I could come up with to get a nice level cut. Well, I'm just about ready to glue everything together, all the sides and all that. But I figured one last step before I glue it all together is to glue in these um, rails for the drawers. And I'm just going to glue them all in, then I'll come back with the table saw and cut them all flush at the back. And I rounded each one off to match the uh, router bit, where the router bit stopped. This will make it a little easier when you uh, put the drawer in as well. So that's, uh, that's the last step, and then I'm going to glue it all together and I can start installing drawers.